Well, eight out of the top 10 metro areas listed as the deadliest places for pedestrians are right here in Florida. Tampa St. Petersburg Clearwater came in ninth place, but the more alarming results are for the Sarasota Manatee area. They moved up from fourth to fourth place from 10th place two years ago. The news reporter Isabel Mascarena shows you how law enforcement is trying their best to keep everyone safe on the road. Dangerous position to be in as a pedestrian walking out into traffic. Crash reports show in Sarasota, five people lost their lives between December 2017 and December 2018. They're, they're actually violating the motor vehicle operator's right of way. And these are some of the educational pamphlets that we hand out to people when we make contact with them. SPD has been handing these out for the last three years to pedestrians and drivers who are not following the rules. Reminding people how to properly uh, cross a crosswalk. We always want them looking in every direction when they're crossing the street, making sure that the vehicles have stopped where they're supposed to stop. The city installed a new crosswalk called Hawk along high congested areas. We simply reach over, push the button, and wait for our light to be activated. Sarasota Police Officer Jason Frank, a traffic investigator, demonstrates the Hawk crosswalk on U.S. 41 and 1st Street in a PSA. It stops traffic on demand and gives pedestrians a safe place to stand midway. Still, Frank says some pedestrians don't use them. We're out there uh, educating and stressing the importance of safety. Drivers are sometimes at fault, too. When they're speeding down the roadway, their reaction time is slower, and they may not be paying attention to the pedestrian who's standing on the corner. Jason Perez won't take any chances, especially on U.S. 41 and 10th Street, where traffic is usually heavy. He uses the crosswalk. I think it's uh, better for your wallet, and I think it's better for your personal safety just to, you know, make it the extra 20 foot and use the crosswalk. It probably breaks out about the same, actually, and it's less dangerous. Sarasota Police has a grant to cover the cost of the pamphlets and time spent educating the public. Officer Frank says last year officers clocked 150 hours and spoke with 1,000 drivers, pedestrians, and cyclists on how to stay safe on the road. Well, here's a look at some of the other Florida cities that made that list. Cape Coral, Fort Myers ranked eighth. Tampa, St. Petersburg, Clearwater was ninth. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach ranks 14th in that study.